Hello and welcome to Switzer Investing Insights brought to you by NAB Trade. Today, I've got Charlie Aitken from Aitken Investment Management joining us to look at his latest hot stock. How are you, mate? No, I'm well, Peter. Now, we should recap on the last time we spoke. The three stocks I think you talked about were Kidman Resources. Yep. How'd that go? It's been going well. Did a deal with Tesla, an off-take agreement with the, uh, the world's biggest you know, electronic vehicle manufacturer right. at this moment. Battery so maker. Good. Yeah, battery maker, if you want to call it that. I think, look, most lithium stocks have done pretty well. Mm. It's loitering around $2. It's it's done reasonably well. I'm still very bullish on that one. I think that'll be a 3 or $4 stock. A company called Speedcast you introduced uh, everyone to. How's that been going? Yeah, that's done well, too. Yeah. It's hanging around near $6. They're yeah. performing well, like most growth stocks at the moment. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's probably consolidated around that price and looking for some new news, but I still remain bullish on that. We still own that in the portfolio. Okay, and Clydesdale was one that you mentioned as well. Yeah, Clydesdale's just done a big deal buying Virgin Money from uh, the big bank merger in the UK, yeah. but buying Virgin Money from uh, Richard Branson is the majority owner there. We think that's a great deal. Mm. You know, 120 million pounds of synergies, looks a really cheap stock. And we've been increasing our exposure to that due, due to this. It's a script for script deal, so there's a bit of liquidity at the moment. Yeah. I think Clydesdale looks really good after this Hasn't deal. it been affected by Brexit? No, not really. Mm. Uh, I mean, the only really thing that's been affected by Brexit is a little bit GDP growth in the UK and mm. the pound. Yeah. So we're using the cheap pound to buy Clydesdale Bank. Yeah. So I think that's going to be a really good one. Now, I, I thought about one of your favourites you've been mentioning for, for probably a couple of years, Aristocrat Leisure. Uh, and as a dollar falls, that also gets a bit of extra tailwind as well, doesn't it? It does. And you can see all the US dollar earners have done very well lately. Mm-hmm. TWE, CSL made a record high yesterday. Macquarie, Macquarie Bank record high yesterday. Anything that earns anything outside of Australia is having a pretty good run. Mm-hmm. But I'd caution that I think the Aussie dollar is oversold. I yeah. think at 73, 74 cents, it's oversold. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be buying necessarily aristocrat or all the, all the offshore earners f- feeling the Aussie dollar is going lower than this. Mm-hmm. I think it's caught up in this whole sort of tariff war scare with China. And mm-hmm. I think... Look, we buy aristocrat because it's growing at 20% per annum. Yeah. If the currency holds here or bounces a little bit, that's fine too. Mm. Uh, now you, you have become a, an, an international man of mystery of late, always buying or often talking about international stocks. Yeah. Um, but this time you've got a domestic stock you quite like. Yeah, well, one of my biggest themes is uh, clean energy, recycling and garbage collection. I yeah. just think the world is not going to put up with dirty air, dirty, dirty water mm. or just... A, you know, a lack of sort of corporate responsibility. Because even if you don't believe in climate change, a lot of people, you know, don't like the idea of plastic bags. Correct. They don't, they don't like the idea of pollutant air when yeah. you're driving around big cities. So you, you can be in both camps. In yeah, I'm not countries. necessarily a believer or non-believer in climate change, mm. but I am a believer in that you, you have a clean world yeah. and you have an industrial and you have a corporate responsibility to clean up your mess. Yeah. And so, look, we think this merger between clean away and tox-free solutions in Australia, which puts the two biggest you know, recycling companies together of industrial waste, is a really interesting one. Mm. You know, Three point five billion market cap stock, really well run, excellent CEO. Mm. You know, big. Are you talking about clean away here or tox-free? Which no, one? clean. It becomes clean away. So yeah, tox-free okay. has been sold into clean yeah. away. Okay. So it's called clean away. Yeah. Uh, code on the ASX is CWI. Yeah. Just looks to us like a reasonably priced growth stock on mm. a theme we believe in, mm. and you know. If you look at the addressable market, they could probably do things outside of Australia eventually as well. But mm. to me, it's a very dominant company now mm. in, a, in, a, in a structurally growing sector. So it currently doesn't have an, an external um, source of revenue, you say? No, it's a domestic play at the moment. Okay, so it has no currency issues. Um, are there any other problems a company like... In the past, uh, a lot of these companies have been struggled. Uh, in terms of its, its future, what is the, the best story apart from the fact that you think that people care about cleaning up the environment? I think just the price of recycling services is going to go up. I think corporates are going to have to pay more to, you know, have their rubbish recycled and Mm. properly dealt with. Mm. I think landfill is probably a thing of the past, Mm. digging a big hole and just burying things. So I think this proper recycling, we're actually getting value-added products out of that and then selling them on as commodities, I think it could become a very valuable business. So I think it's more about the underlying industrial company mm. paying them more to recycle their product or take their waste. Mm. And also the fact this got through the ACCC was a big deal too. You think, you know, the number one and number two player getting yeah, together, sure. you, know, you know, thought that's a pretty big hurdle, but yeah. it got through with really little uh, little change. Mm. So to me, that's one, I think they're about $1.70 at the moment. I think that could be a, a stock that's $2.50, $2.60, and just a nice little Australian growth stock mm. on a theme that I believe is a structural growth theme, which is recycling. And it's great to see that you're now calling Australia home, Charlie. I always call Australia <laughs> home, Peter. <laughs> that's Charlie Aitken from Aitken Investment Management. Thanks for joining us on Switzer Investing Insights, brought to you by NAB Trade.